Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. Uh, we're back, going to do a little soldering here for a BNC connector on some RG58 cable. So I've got my soldering iron tinned and I've got my connector in place. I'm getting ready to, to solder this and i got uh, my Comms Prepper helper here with me. Hi Preppers. And we're going to go ahead and solder this connector. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I don't want to apply too much heat to this connector because that heat will transfer down the center conductor and melt this dielectric. So to get the best possible transfer of heat between the iron and the tip, I'm going to put a little bit of solder here on the tip. So when I put that up next to the connector, I'm going to get a greater bond between the two and a greater transfer of heat. So I should be able to do this relatively quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And See if I get that transfer of heat and watch that solder suck down to that hole like that. And it did. And I you can see even with even with me trying, I'm still getting some deformity in the dielectric. So we're gonna have to straighten that out a little bit later. But that that solder joint is made. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pause here and I'm going to clean up that dielectric to make it smooth and we'll go ahead and put that connector tip on. Okay everybody I'm back and you'll notice I had to cut that connector off. Uh, this is another opportunity to show you when a mistake is made. Uh, when I applied the heat I didn't do it correctly and I wasn't fast enough and enough heat transferred down the center conductor to where it warmed up the dielectric and caused it to melt and retreat back down the cable expanding so it was too thick in the end to slide this connector over the top of it so rather than try cutting it down with a pocket knife and not doing it correctly I went ahead and cut the tip off I'm gonna prep it and uh, go ahead and try putting another connector on and this time we're gonna try to get the heat applied to the right spot in the right amount of time so we do this correctly so let me pause here and I'll be right back Okay, everybody, I'm back. Got the camera here in the tripod. I retinned the soldering iron again, and I've got a new connector up there. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of solder near that hole and bring the soldering iron down and see if I can get some solder in that hole without deforming the dielectric too much. And we're going to blow on it there and let it cool off. And then we'll see if I got that in there and I see some solder down in the hole and the dielectric doesn't look like it melted and the connector doesn't pull off. So if everything works correctly I should be able to take this piece of the BNC connector and slide it down and it clicks into place and there we go. We have a perfect BNC connector. So what I'll do is I'll bring this shield up, trim it up and we'll go ahead with the crimp tool here and we'll crimp that uh, connector on and we've successfully made a BNC connector. Okay everybody, we're done here. I got the comms prepper helper help me hold the cable here. And we brought the back up and crimped it on with the crimp tool here. So if you look at the end of this connector, we got a perfect BNC connector that's been soldered and then with the back end crimped on there. So this is a good BNC connector and will be part of my next video of making an antenna for my bug out bag. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper and the Comms Prepper Helper. And if Bye. you like this video, uh, go ahead and click the like button. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye.